So if Mary spent uh, on average 56 cents per fruit, that means that she bought more oranges than apples because 56 is closer to 60 than it is to 40. How much closer? Well, if I draw a number line, the distances on either side of 56 would be 16 and 4, so that's a ratio of 4 to 1. So she bought four times as many oranges as apples, and if I build a ratio table, I would say oranges to apples to total is 4 to 1 to 5, but we know the total is actually 10, so the scale factor is 2. So the actual number of oranges and apples that Mary bought was 8 and 2. So 8 oranges and 2 apples. And it's important to make that inference halfway through the question. We don't actually want to read all the way to the question mark. We first want to make this inference so we know there were exactly 8 oranges and 2 apples. Now I'm ready to keep reading. So as I keep reading, it looks like Mary will be replacing or putting back some of the oranges which implies that she's keeping the two apples, and that's a really important inference to make. The number of apples was two and will remain two, and that's really the only constant. That's the only piece of information we have going into this later part of the question. So we have two apples, and it turns out that the average price after she returns some oranges drops to 52 cents. So I was expecting the average price to drop because the oranges are the more expensive fruit, and if you were putting some of them back, you'd expect the average price to drop. But where is exactly 52 on the number line in the context of 40 and 60? Well, you'd have uh, distances of 12 and 8 on either side of 52, so that's a ratio of 3 to 2. And we're still closer to the oranges side than we are to the apples side, because 52 is closer to 60 than it is to 40. So we can still say the number of oranges is greater than the number of apples. How much greater? Well, by a ratio of 3 to 2 for a total of 5 ratio units. Now remember, the one thing that we know is that the number of apples, the actual number of apples, is in fact 2. So if 2 ratio units represent 2 apples, that means that 3 ratio units for the oranges represents 3 oranges. How many oranges did Mary have in the beginning? All oh, right, it was eight. So how many did Mary put back if she went from having eight oranges to having three oranges? She must have put back exactly five oranges. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.